Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, we only have like 11 more days for the vendor sponsored giveaway. So please over here, there will be a little annotation. Um, click on that. It'll bring you to the video for the vendor sponsored giveaway. I'm looking, trying to look for the best light here. This is so bad. It's back here. <laughs> I can't bring the computer any closer um so please enter it's super duper easy easy peasy um if you like my channel and you like what you see please subscribe below and um hit the little gear and that will send you all the emails it'll send say send emails or something to my inbox or something to that effect so every time i upload a video you can choose to watch it you can choose not to watch it whatever um, but you will be notified of all the, the vendor sponsored giveaways because they happen every month and they actually may, there may be another one come, there may be two in April. I'm not sure yet. It's not a promise, but, um, I'm kind of in the works with a really good vendor and, um, for a really super cool one. So I'm not quite sure when that's going to happen, but of course, that way you guys will be notified when it does happen. Um, so I had told you guys I was going to start doing beauty boxes, and I the, I got my first one today, and this is from um, beautyarmy.com, and I signed up for three. I signed up for this one, Ipsy, and I can't remember what the next one is. Oh, um, I can't remember what the third one is, but I'll let you know when I get it. Um, and I've set up my page a little differently. I've put, um, labels or labels. I don't know if they're called labels or they're called playlists or what, but so you can kind of see like all my haul videos in one spot. Um, the, um, chit chat videos, the pen pal videos, the vlog videos, um, the do's and duds videos, and this is my newest, um, is going to be the beauty boxes. So the other two, I believe are coming in April. So those won't happen for a while, but this was beautyarmy.com. I just kind of Googled beauty subscription boxes and kind of went through them and signed up for ones that I thought I would be interested in. Now I don't wear a ton of makeup as you guys can tell here. Um, I normally kind of just do a lip and some mascara and go. Like that's kind of my thing. But um, I I really wanted to start this because I really want to try and find some products that, you know, that I really like, you know, um, and you know, see what I like, see what I don't like, whatever. My daughter does one too. Oh, maybe the other one was Birchbox. No, Birchbox was too expensive. I don't think I did Birchbox. I did, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, so Beauty Army was pretty cool because they send you samples and what they do is you go through and you take a survey and it gives you your sampling preferences. So it was pretty, it was, it's pretty neat. Um, so there's, you know, makeup and hair, like uh, the first question is what types of products are you interested in? Select at least three. So you can select up to three and there's makeup, skincare, hair, fragrance, nails, bath and body, wellness, and for him. And, um, so you just pick those and it kind of goes along those lines and then they give you a sample of what you want. And I believe you can, with Beauty Army, you can pick what you want for that month. Um, so it's not like you get the box and you have no idea. Of course, I get the box and I have no idea because I don't pay that too, that much attention. <laughs> and, you know, and I can't remember which is which. So it's still always kind of, even with wax, it's still kind of a surprise to me when I get it because I'm like, oh, I ordered this? When did I order this? And, you know, I, I just have so much coming in and going out and all this other stuff that I kind of get confused. But anyway, so this is my first beauty box. And I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm not looking directly at you, I am not trying to avoid my lovely subbies in any way. I would never do that to my lovelies. Um, but I have to switch between Google Chrome and Photo Booth. And so 
I'm clicking back and forth and back and forth. Um, so this is the first, this is the first box. It came, you know, it was, it's cute. It's got like some camouflage print going on there. Maybe some people will call it cow print. I don't know. And this is the box, the box within the box, the never ending box. And it says beauty army on it. I don't know if you can see it. It's embossed. It's kind of says beauty army. This lighting is horrible. You know what I have to do is get two like mini lights and put them on my computer table so they're facing me. I'm going to have to, I got to write that down. I have to do that. So the light is facing me because this is, I took the, I'm just going to twirl you over here for a second so you can see, obviously that's like my little melting station, but can you see that glow? <laughs> that is my lamp without the lampshade. I figured maybe that would give me a little more light. I don't know if it does or if it doesn't because I just uploaded a video and it was kind of dark so I was like I'm not loving this at all. Okay so I first of all this box is super cute. I will reuse this. I love boxes. I collect boxes. Normally they're wooden ones but this is super cute. Look at the pink camo like you know army get it. It's so cute. Um, I have not looked at this yet, but this says, um, this comes with this little card and it says, hello, gorgeous. I love it already. It's calling me gorgeous. The box. I love the box. Um, it's March and we're thinking about beauty spring cleaning. Here are some tips for a spick and span beauty routine. Wash your makeup case regularly. I don't have a makeup case. I actually have a Sterilite three, a little, little one that normally went in my bathroom, but this bathroom here is so small that I can't fit it in my bathroom. So it's in my wax room, which is close enough. Um, so I don't have a makeup case. Chelsea just got one. I'm going to have to find out where she got one because she is a beauty guru. She is like so into it. And oh my God, I got to get my wisdom teeth out. I'm noticing with this lipstick, it's like I put the lipstick on and it's, it, it really is applied correctly, you guys, but my my jaw is so misaligned. It's driving me insane. But I went to the blood doctor today, guys, and because um, if I am going to have my surgery, I, I took this one off. You can see, like, the Band-Aid residue. Uh, but I had eight vials of blood taken. And then this one, they did a clotting test. And what they did is they just kind of, and, and I'm kind of laughing at this. It, it looks like surgery. It's really not that bad. She put a butterfly band-aid on and everything and to keep my skin closed. And I was like, okay, lady. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, I had posted this in my What About All About Me video. It was quite personal. Um, I used to be a cutter. Um, I This was... I think I have not picked up a razor blade or anything like that in about 10 years. Wait, 44, 34. Yeah, in about 10 years. Um, but I did get therapy for it and I no longer do it. And I started my sleeves kind of to cover my scars and to just sort of make turn what was like my ugly past into something beautiful. So that was kind of one of my main goals and it just kind of like went from there. Um, I had, I mean, I had many other tattoos before that, but you know, with this whole sleeve thing, I just kind of said, you know what? I'm kind of tired of, I don't know if you can see, you probably not gonna be able to see them. They're, they're pretty faint, but like anywhere, like you can't really see ink. I have some scars. I don't know if you can see them through here or whatever. But so anyway, it, it, the funny part of the story, I mean, if there's anything funny about cutting, there's not. It's not. It's a very serious thing. It's not funny at all. But the funny part to this was the flip side was that so so what they did is they used a little like lancet. You know how like you get your finger pricked when you get your like your iron checked? And, you know, they do that little thing. Well, it was like that, except that it was like maybe this big, right? Like, you know, like from nail to nail. I mean, <laughs> it was so minuscule, right? 
So she clicks it. And then she puts a blood pressure cuff on you and she, she pumps it up to 40. The guy, the doctor said a tourniquet, like when he was talking to me and I was like, tourniquet. Okay. Like, you know, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm picturing somebody like sharpening a knife, you know, <laughs> in the back room somewhere. I'm like a tourniquet. What the heck? But no, it's just to put some pressure so that you bleed, um, you know, just enough. And <laughs> So, and then they time how long it takes for you to, you know, for the wound to clot. And he said anywhere like under nine minutes or something like that, like, you know, up to nine minutes or something to that effect. So, but it was just so funny because she put this, this surge, this surge what do they call them? Stary strips or whatever, this, you know, butterfly thing for this teeny tiny little and I'm just I'm thinking to myself lady like if you knew the damage I've done to myself and I haven't bled to death like that's really not necessary <laughs> you know I mean like I said I I gotta kind of laugh about it and and this is my experience I am not laughing at anybody who's gone through this because it's heartbreaking it really is it's hor it's horrible and it's heartbreaking um but I just kind of laugh at my experiences that I've gone through because they've, you know, kind of, you know, they kind of, uh, they make you who you are. You know what I mean? And it's my past and it's over with. So, um, but this, this wound, wound was so minuscule, like, she could have probably just dabbed it with a gauze, and it would have been fine, but no. And so she was following procedure, but then and then she put the, the pressure thing on, and then the band-aid, and I'm just kind of laughing, and then she's like, be careful when you take a shower, and I'm just, it was just, I thought it was funny. Anyway, okay, back to, um... So I'm sure I don't have a bleeding disorder. I did bleed for six and a half minutes before I started to clot. So um, she says to me, I said, is that good? Is that bad? Did I pass? Did I fail? What's the deal? And she said, well, the last person was three and a half minutes. And I'm like, oh, well, yay for him. Like, you know, I guess I failed. I don't know. Um, I was under the nine minutes, though. But I, like I said, I was saying to Mary, too, I said, I'm kind of laughing because with all my tattoos and stuff, because he's like, when you get your tattoos, are you, do you bleed? And I'm like, yeah, I'm a bleeder. But, you know, I was taking baby aspirin because my father had his first heart attack at the age of 38, and he had his first bypass surgery at 40. So we have horrible heart, you know, stuff in um, heart disease in our family. So... I take a baby aspirin, I take fish oil and all that kind of stuff, and my I do have high cholesterol. So, but I had stopped that when I had that whole bleeding incident. Um, um, for those of you that don't know about it, if you're new or whatever, I, I'm i not going to get into it, but um, those of you who, have, who do know what was going on, thank you for all your well wishes and everything like that and your understanding um, you know, I, I know I was getting some D-stash bags out and there was like only so much I could do and stuff like that. But anyway, so, um, you know, I was laughing. I said, cause I can sit at a, on a tattoo table for eight hours, you know what I mean? With, with, you know, a tattoo needle for eight hours straight and not bleed to death. So I, I kind of think I'm okay, but you know, whatever. He said he doesn't think so either, but it was just a precaution in case I do have to have surgery, it's good to know because he said there were two bleeding disorders and none of them, I hadn't heard of them. I thought he was going to say hemophilia, but I guess that's not like a, a uh, very common one. But I mean, it's the only one I know of. But I, and of course, you know, I can't give you the names. They're, you know, weird names or whatever. But he said a lot of people have them and don't even know they have them. Um, but he asked me, he said, did you, have you had your wisdom teeth out and have you had your tonsils out? And I see, he goes, do your gums bleed and stuff? And I said, well, yeah, I said, my gums do bleed. I said, but you know, what's funny is my gums never bled. My daughter's gums bleed a lot. My gums never bled until I went to the dentist and they did like a scaling thing. And then they did this thing with, I know this is kind of like, like it gives me the chills, um, with that little pick 
where they go into your gum pocket and they like push the the pick down as far as they can you know to see how big the pocket is to, to determine how bad your periodontal disease is or whatever you know kind of thing and ever since they did that to my gums my gums have been bleeding like it, it's like I brush my teeth and it's like someone punched me in the mouth like I'm like really and I use special toothbrush I mean special toothbrush special toothpaste and special um mouthwash you know twice a day just to you know to try to clear it up and I swish with hydrogen peroxide and all that stuff and they messed me up I blame the dentist. I, I I do have to get my wisdom teeth out. But he was asking that because he said those are two very traumatic um, procedures. He says because – I said, well, yeah, I had my tonsils out when I was five. And he's like, well, you, you lived. You're still here. I said, yep, I did. And, you know, I said no bleeding issues that I know of, you know. Um, I remember eating popsicles and stuff like that, you know. But um, so he was saying – because what they do is they when they t take your tonsils out, they just rip them out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it was crazy. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, they don't, like, cauterize and cut and that kind of stuff. They just yank them out. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it was nuts. So, so he's like, so there's, you know, an open wound there. So, and then that, of course, that heals. But, you know, he said, so you know, that, that would, if you had a bleeding disorder, you know, that would bleed a lot. And he said, the other thing is with wisdom teeth, they do the same thing. They kind of just, you know, like that's it. There's no easy way. There's no nice way to do it. You know what I mean? So he said, those are the two instances. I said, well, I haven't had my wisdom teeth out. I have to, because my jaw is so misaligned. I said, but because of them, and how they're positioned and everything. I said, but I I didn't, I, I was going to make the appointment. Then I had this bleeding episode. And then I, the, the doctor that I'm seeing who, you know, will do the surgery if I decide that that's what, I, you know, the route that I'm going to go, um, wanted me to see this blood doctor to make sure I didn't have a bleeding disorder. So then I said, well, geez, well, then I better not get my wisdom teeth out right now. So now I'm going to wait for the test results to come back. So those should be back by the 31st because I'm seeing um, my surgeon on the 1st. So um, I, I don't think I have anything. But he said the two main ones that people walk around with and they really don't know they have, um, surgeons just like to know because you can take a, medic a certain medication before surgery so that will help that you know situation um but anyway okay so enough about blood I don't I don't know how I got onto that but that happens to me all the time as you guys know okay so it says wash your makeup case regularly which that makes sense and I'm I think I'm gonna have to get a makeup case but it wouldn't fit in my bathroom I'm just thinking I'm like where would I put it even if I had one I don't know Thoroughly clean your brushes at least once a month. I don't use brushes. I should get a set of brushes. I don't use them because, like I said, I just do the lips and the mascara. So what do I really need brushes for? And then, like, liquid eyeliner every once in a while. Like, if I really want to glam it up, I'll do the liquid eyeliner. So what am I using brushes for, you know? Um, but I could probably pick up, you know, a... a what you call it. Chelsea was telling me to, at Target, uh, they sell Elf brand, and they, she said they're really cheap. They're 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 cheap, but they're good. Um, so she was mentioning some stuff about that. So maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. And then it says throw throw away mascaras that are more than three months old. I am so bad at that, you guys. I do not do that at all. I have mascaras that are. I mean, if I can put them on my lashes and they're still, yeah, they're not dried out. You know, but because they come in contact with your eye, I mean, it makes perfect sense. You know, your eye is very sensitive. I hope this is still taping because for some reason, I just went blank here. Really? I have to sign back in. Okay, still taping. Hopefully that didn't go blank on you guys. That was really weird. 
Okay, anyway, I have to sw switch that. I, I put a security password on my computer, so every time it goes into sleep mode and stuff, you have to type your password back in, and it's turning into be a pain in the ass, and I'm just like, whatever. I don't have anything on my computer that anyone needs to care about anyway. So I'm really bad about that mascara thing, guys. I really need to, um, I really probably should do that more often, but it says, follow these three simple steps, and you'll be on your way to a lean, clean beauty re re routine warmest the beauty army team so i mean that's cute you know those are some good tips and tricks so then it comes with this cute black paper and you open it up okay yeah you do get to pick this was pretty this is what i liked about the beauty army it was pretty cool because they give you like a list of 12 things based on your preferences and you do get to pick what you want in the box so that's pretty cool you know what I mean so it's not like you get a, a bag of stuff and you're kind of like oh, I'm not gonna I'll never use any of this so this is what I picked you guys um some of these may not actually be oh yeah this is what I picked okay this is miracle skin transformer acne control um prevents breakouts controls shine even skin toes tones even skin tone refines pores. Tinted acne treatment lotion. Um, so I don't know. Let me see. Read the directions. Hold on. I have to take my glasses off, you guys. I have a slight bifocal. It's hysterical. This is the first year, or last year was the first year that I, they're like, oh, you need bifocals. And I'm like, what? I never use them. They are so minimal that, like, I can tilt my head up and I could see, okay, it's a little blurry because it's for close-up reading, but I really don't even, like, I have to do one of these. Like, if I look at something this close right here, it's blurry. If I lift it up, oh, look, I can see it. But I have to lift my face. You know what I mean? Like, do I really want to do one of these when I'm reading stuff? I guess you're supposed to hold it down like this and look it down. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense, right? I'm still getting used to them. Normally, I whip up, and it was funny because when my mom first got bifocals, she was, um, actually I think she has trifocals, but whatever. Um, she doesn't use them. She does this and takes them off to read. And that's, I tend to do that too. And I was yelling at her. I said, mom, you're never going to get used to them if you don't use them properly. And here I'm doing the same thing. So, okay, we'll use them properly. Okay. Um, begin with clean skin, smooth a pearl size amount onto your face with your fingertips. Increase the amount of product to build coverage and customize your look. Oh, well, that's interesting. So this is something that I may use every day. So if I like this, I mean, this is going to be one application, obviously. Um, pearl size amount, like really? I don't use anything pearl sized. Like, no, it doesn't happen, um, especially when it comes to. But it has this, the stalic acid in it, 0.5 which is, you know, normal for the acne treating, whatever. Um, I don't get a whole lot of breakouts. I mean, every once in a while I will, um, you know, get one here or there, but I don't really break out that much. But I think it's because I don't wear makeup, you know what I mean, per se. But um, so I'm definitely going to try this because this might be something that I would use every day because I love shine control. Um, it prevents breakouts, shine control, and even skin tone. So it sort of looks like a, like an acne treating sort of um, BB cream kind of thing. So, and I love, I like, like if I do put anything on my face, it'll be a BB cream. Um, the only thing this does not have is SPF, which kind of makes me sad. But I will look at this because then on the website, if you like these, you can purchase the full thing, and they actually do give you coupons. I just got one. They said, oh, you know, if you purchase this month or something, you get $10 off a $35 order or something to that effect. So that's pretty cool that, you know, like if you like it, you're not paying a huge, huge amount. Um, okay, so that was one thing. The next thing I got was makeup remover pads. These are really good for, I don't have a lot of these. I know Chelsea uses these all the time. Not this specific brand. This is by Every Beauty. Advanced design, innovative, um, moisturize, moisturizes with argan oil extract, which I really liked, um, because my skin tends to get dry. I kind of, I have combination skin, 
Sometimes it gets oily up here, but even if you see shine, it's still dry. Like, so I exfoliate twice a week and um, that kind of thing. So it says, just add water to activate. 100% natural. Skin feels silky smooth. Moisturizes with argan oil extract. Contains vitamin E. No rinsing needed. Alcohol free for all skin types with cotton plus solution two in one. I don't quite know what that means, but it says the natural way to remove makeup without the use of alcohol or para parabens, which is good. I like that. Um, it leaves your skin moisturized and silky smooth. Add a few drops of water and remove your makeup. Because like when I wear makeup, it's all waterproof. This stuff will not come off all day. Um, this is by, I, when I, I did post a, a video on what kind of makeup I use. This was in there. If you guys are interested on super stay makeup, like you can eat with it, kiss, you know, whatever. It's no transfer. I mean, the only thing you're going to see is the gloss that goes on the top. There's, there's no transfer whatsoever. They have this waterproof kind of stuff in foundation which is really good for your skin also it's it helps with wrinkles the woman was wearing it it was you know she was an older older woman and yes she had wrinkles but they looked she looked very nice and dewy like it was it was really nice I I, I liked it I was thinking about selling it but I don't know um and I can't remember the name of it right now because it's kind of like a scientific sort of name or whatever but so um that would be good for removing this. So it has vitamin E, argan oil, glycerin. Uh, I think that's about it. So it says, add a few drops of water to remove your makeup. Both Use both sides of each pad. Do not squeeze the pad. No rinsing of the face is necessary. Discard after use. Um, use within. Oh, keep out of light to avoid discoloration. Use within six months after opening. Please note, to maintain a natural product, these pads do not contain chem chemical fixatives, resulting in a slight variation of color on one side and a white color on the other side. And I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up, but if you can see, it almost looks like there's makeup on it. I'm assuming that's the argan oil. You can see like little yellow um, spots on it or whatever. That's the argan oil in it. And what I like about this is it's not already moisturized. It's not already wet because when you get the wet ones and you open them up, they always tend to dry out, you know, and, and then you're like, what the, you know, I just can't stand that. So I like having to add water to activate. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, we'll have to see how well they work. Okay, so this I got, this is Argan Oil 7 Moisturizing Healing Mask. This is by Nelson J. of Beverly Hills. And this is a coconut scent. Restore moisture in one minute. Protects hair from chlorine and salt water damage. This is for your hair. Um, and as you can see, mine is color treated and it needs a lot of help. So... And this would also be good for putting, um, like when you go to the beach and stuff like that, or before you go in the pool, you know, coat your hair with sunscreen and that kind of stuff. So it says, after using Argan Oil 7 Shampoo, which of course I don't have that, apply moisture healing mask to towel dried hair. For, in for quick instant repair, leave mask and hair for one minute. For, deep or repa for deeper repair, leave mask and hair for five minutes. Rinse thoroughly for fine hair, lightly shampoo after treatment, then style as desired. Directions for protect, protecting your hair against chlorine and salt water damage. Before swimming, thoroughly wet hair and apply Argan Oil 7 moisturi Moisturizing Healing Mask from roots to ends. I, I like this idea. I really do. I really like this a lot. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see how this works. Um... And I normally only apply from, like, you see where my ponytail is? Like, from here down. Because this part of my hair is fine. You know what I mean? It's just kind of when you get towards the bottom, it gets a little. But I did get a lot cut off last time. So they cut moist, most of the stuff off. So it's kind of really my ends. And if I do put it on top, it, I, my hair tends to get oily up there. So I just concentrate from, like, you know, the mid don't do that again. I was like, don't sign me off again. From like mid 
you know, mid hairline down. Like that's kind of what I do. So that sounds really, really good. I like that. Again, it's from Nelson J of Beverly Hills. So if you want to Google it, it's called Argon Oil 7 Moisturize, Moisture Healing Mask. Um, and this, when anyone, anything says leave on for five minutes, yeah, I leave it on. I'll probably leave it on all night. Okay, so the next thing I got was Dermis 8% Exfoliating Soap Bar. Oops. So it helps even skin tone, removes dead skin cells, brightens skin for youthful glow. This is a, a carrot bar, I guess. But I love exfoliating, anything exfoliating, like I said, because I do get dry skin, even though my skin is combination. Um, it's dry and oily at the same time, which, how does that happen? I don't know, but that's what happens to crust. Um, it's got carrot extract, vitamin E, bamboo salt, apricot seed, rice bran, camelilla oil, olive oil extract, and jojoba oil. So it says you to use two to three times per week all over your face and body. I guess you could use it on your body too if you wanted to. Massage over wet skin and rinse. Um, avoid contact with eyes, of course, and if irritation continues, discontinue use. So let me see if I can show this to you. I'll try to open it. Um, but it, it was all natural ingredients, which I really, really like. Um, oh, it has vitamin E, vegetable soap base is palm oil and coconut oil, water, carrot extract. Carrot's supposed to be really good for your skin. I don't know why. Um, anybody, any beauty whatever health nuts out there um aloe extract rice bran wal uh, bamboo salt walnut shell powder apricot seed powder and oil peppermint extract vitamin e jojoba oil so it's just it's just a little bar but then you do get one full size oh this is small but again of course they're just samples so you can try them out but here's the bar and I don't know if you can see little granules in there, but it doesn't look like it's super duper exfoliating, but I like the idea that it seems exfoliating and moisturizing kind of at the same time. I, I really like that idea because a lot of times exfol exfoliating stuff can be very drying. So that seems like another cool one. I picked some good ones. Okay, you guys have heard me talk about my, my eyebrow, my forehead lines, my expression lines, because I'm always making faces. Um, this is called Fabulous Forehead. It's called For Less. And this is Rose Smooth Forehead Lines Naturally. So Fabulous Forehead, forget about the furrows. Relax forehead lines in a gentle, in a gentle natural, no needles way. Whether you're a soap and water girl or a Botox believer, I'm a soap and water girl, um, for, for less is for you. Easy to apply, easy to remove. Skin sensitive, no problem. No latex, which is good. I have a latex allergy. Um, and hypoallergenic. Simply apply the clear patch while you sleep or before a big night out. And in as little as one hour, you'll see fewer fine lines. It's that easy. Clean your skin as usual. If you moisturize, wait a few minutes until it's absorbed. Gently smooth your forehead lines and place the patch on your skin. Now relax. To remove, peel the patch across itself. Admire your smooth skin and smile. Um, let me see what this thing looks like. I'm going to break this sucker out. I want to see what it looks. They also have ones, try all our patches. They have 11s. Which I guess is for like your whole forehead. Can you see this? Right there. Then they have lipstick. So it's around your lip area. So I'm assuming for like, you know, your expression lines or whatever. I really don't have any because my I got fat there. <laughs> so I don't really have any. I mean, you know. Then they have um, crows. So if, if you have little... You know, crow's feet, crow's lines. I really don't have, I don't really, I, mean, I guess I kind of, when I go like this, I do. But when my eyes regular, I really don't. Not that I notice. So, 
I'm not worried about that. But if I like this patch, maybe I will try the other ones. Um, so this is one. Oh, there's three of them in here. Cool. So there's there's just these little stickers. I don't know if you're going to Oh, there you go. And I mean by relax your forehead lines, I don't quite know what that means. How do I relax them? Like my forehead's not tense. It's relaxed, I guess. And then I guess I just put the patch over. So I would put the patch over these two lines. Although I have one here too. But I don't know. I would just put the patch over these two lines or whatever. And then just leave it on overnight. And Marin will find that super duper sexy. Um, <laughs> so... I'm really excited to try these things. And then the last thing that I got, this was the full size. I really wanted to try this because this is Vidal Sassoon Pro Series. And this is the VS Repair. It's Spray, Repair, and Finish. So it's it says it helps repair signs of damaged hair. Um, <clears throat> so you can see that there. And this is a full, this is a full size. And this is, um, creates a conditioning shield to help protect your hair. Professionally inspired formula for a fashionable finish that helps repair smoothness for silky hair, protect damaged hair from breakage, flexible hold to seal in style and tame flyaways. So it's kind of like a hairspray, which I don't really use a hairspray much, you know, every once in a while I do, but. I don't really don't like stuff in my hair, um, hair product. I like to be able to like run my fingers through it and stuff. Um, and I like, but anything I ever use, if I do use hairspray, it's flexible hold. Um, spray six to eight inches from, from dry hair for a salon like finish. Be careful not to apply directly to roots. Stylish, stylus tip spray into tile dried hair for prep for easy styling. That's, I see, that's what I like to do because I, I don't use a hair dryer ever. Every once in a while, I'll use the InStyler if I want to straighten my hair. But my hair is naturally curly. Um, so I like to put, you know, like a Miracle 10 in there or something like that. And that's the only hair product that I use. And just kind of scrunch my hair, you know, flip it over, scrunch it, whatever. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it will keep it. Um, also try the other fashionable products in the VS Repair Collection, including shampoo, conditioner, repair one, minute mask, and heat protect and shine spray. Oh, so that's if you're using, you know, heat product things. I don't know, let me... I'm going to spray this and see. Let me... Let me, uh... Updo my... Fluff my ponytail a little bit. Hmm. Let's see if it... I was looking for a bobby pin earlier. So let's see if this kind of stays. Here, let me spray the bottom a little bit more. There you go. So it kind of stays and sticks. Because I don't like bobby pins. I don't like, like, pinning my hair too much. Cool. So anyway, that's what I got, guys, from Beauty Army. I'm really excited. I think I'm really going to like this box, especially because I'm going to be able to try out. I get to pick my own stuff. I do like the element of surprise, and this was still an element of surprise because I had forgotten exactly what it was. Um, it's $10. You really can't beat it. comes in this cute little box, which I will so use again. Love it. So that's my beauty haul. So I'll talk to you guys later, and I will let you – I'll keep you guys posted. Too. I'll be doing some beauty vlogs and keep you guys posted on what I think of these products. Like if, you know, I, I try the fur less for my, you know, lines on my forehead and I think they're amazing, then like this is a dripping down my neck. I used way too much. Um, you know, I will definitely, you know, say, hey guys, you know what? This really works. So cool. Or, you know, I didn't really like this one. So anyway, thanks guys for my first beauty box subscription haul. Take care.